Hello and welcome back to another episode on the Lifecraft server. Man, it has been a while and I do apologize. I do have an excuse. When I left you last, I told you that we had done the dragon fight. Not only did we kill the dragon once, but we killed it four separate times. And it went about as best as one could expect. I actually survived all three of the first dragons and I had one of my best moments ever in Minecraft. And I am going to show you the first fight and that snippet from the fourth dragon fight so you can see what I'm talking about. I was very proud of this moment. It's probably never going to be repeated, I doubt. So let's take a look at that. Rex, you set your yeah, yes, 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 yes. I think we should all go in together. Right, okay. okay. I have to stay back a second to let get my camera cut in. Oh, that old yep. chestnut. <laughs> right, okay. So, so I'll fine. wait for JT, I suppose. All right. Hey, go. it's me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, are you ready? I'll be back from Blue Guy. So you got the blocks on oh, off the island? It, it's safe, guys. Come. It's safe. Come. All right, let's rock. <laughs> Well, I got the it's first time. It's not safe. It's not safe. It is. It ain't. Because you can get you through this. Oh, fun. <laughs> get, get yeah, you guys out. are going to. I'm going to build a wall there. Just That's what cake. Trump said. Come on. Get out. <laughs> oh, we're going for the political humor right off the get go. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm already dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. You're dead? I'm in the void. I'm dead oh, no, please. What happened? <laughs> How did it happen? He knocked us straight out. Oh, oh I ran God. for it. Good God. Well, that was a waste. Lord. Let's oh, chuck some more armor on. Let's get back into the. He came, he came through. He came, he oh. came through the block. There were me. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, what with Anna? Can we all yeah, try to stay alive? Slow falling, nothing would work there. Slow falling, nothing. Nothing at all. No, would I, work was, there. I was out over the void. He kicked you all as well? Yeah, got the got first me. one. Oh my god. So first cage. Oh, he's took... First cage he's thing is life. down. Oh, and my bow. I haven't got another bow. Grab one out of my foot locker. Yeah, that's me too. Can I, I have another bow? one in my foot locker. Got it. In your foot locker? Yeah. At the end of the bed. Ah! Is this yours, Blue? This Twanga? No, that's it's mine. No, this Get, one take is it. Take it. Oh, Lexi, no. No. You don't know whose is whose. Just, oh, just. No just dump, I'm just dumping everything in a chest. God almighty. That was bad straight off the bat. Just keep his attention. Uh, come on, like come on, come on. Let's get back in. Got two of them. Yeah. Two of the cage yeah, units are down. If he knocks me straight off again, I'm going to go skid, yeah. so. Lexi, I know this. Where is he? Oh. I think that's us. Where is he? I don't know who's this is. He's, he's dead. It's he's dead center. He's dead center. Two of them. Ow, what? ow, ow. Hey, 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 hey. I no, know nothing. No. Come on, in the bed. Both of the caged oh, crystals are down. Oh, my God. No, you... I'm... There we go. That's all the crystals down. Oh, no. oh I'm going to die again. Oh, my God. <laughs> all the crystals oh, hey. Yeah, all the crystals are down. You're not hitting me. That's not very nice. Oh, I'm really bad at this. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Everyone's just dying. <laughs> no, no, this no. is bad. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, it's oh, really bad. Bad. There's yeah. too many endermen. Oh, oh, There's still one left, I think. Where? I thought I got it. Oh, my good God, this is bad. The tall yeah, there's oh, one that's all. There's no way. Oh, crap. He's getting all power right. from it's okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, there's one, there's one on the top. You want, you, you oh, got yeah. I've got someone's... I don't have enough I'm ladders to get up there and climb that one. I've got someone's... Oh, it's Colonel. I've got someone's twanger. That's mine. <laughs> that was mine. Oh, well, he... <laughs> oh, I saw that Luke, you said you got some... Uh, uh. Yeah, and our plane is like gone, right? Who's on their way up? Yeah. Is, are all these things out? Are all the crystals out? No, I still want No, more. the caged ones are gone. Oh, I think someone oh, got it. Yeah. Alright, come back down. Bloody Enderman, that's what got me. Die, buddy, die. Die, 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 die. Right, we done well. 
you get that I've got your armor, Colonel, 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 Colonel. I've got your diamond, I've got what? your diamond chest plate, Colonel. Hang on. I have, I have one, I have oh, one. No. Yeah, I think it's your what? sword. What? Colonel. I've got you. Oh, you're joking. Oh, ow. That was very nice. Oh, hello. I'm running out of gear. You there? You can grab any out of my chest if you, it, if you need it. I put my other regular gold, iron, diamond stuff in there. I don't even think I've got sword. Has anyone got any, any armor, please? I've got no, it. I've got it in the chest. I've got dragon head. Uh, oh, oh got nice. me. Dang it. Let's go. Let's go. Ow. Let's go. 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 let us go no, no, oh, man. Ooh, hey, XP! XP everywhere! What? Oh, no. Oh, what on earth was that? That was chaos. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. How do you oh, bolt out of that scot free? That was... Hey, don't touch... Man. Don't touch... Uh, what am I? I was almost oh. dead. Oh, oh, does anyone have any torches? No. Yes. Uh, I do. No. Well, we have four right here. <laughs> any torches? I don't have any gear left. Well, I'm about to die again. Did anyone Lost pick my, my stuff up? Did I it, it don't lost? believe I've got no, any of it. No, your stuff is near, near the, the thing and the... Okay, backseat. Hi. Backseat what you doing? here. Which one? Oh no, you took it. You got it. You got, you got it. my the, stuff. The wings. The wings. Yeah, uh, you want some? Oh, there you go. Here. Who wants to pick it up? No, I didn't get anything. Where's well, the never mind. That was quick. <laughs> I think that might be it except for the one that... Uh... Oh, God, he's put a lot of dragon bread. Oh, he got me! Oh, 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 Clutch water drop. That was beautiful. <laughs> well, as I said, probably my greatest single moment in Minecraft, saving my own skin with a bucket of water. Of course, about a minute and a half later, I got hit again and died. But, hey, I survived three complete dragons before I got croaked, including that passage at the first dragon where I nearly got killed and somehow managed to save myself from that Enderman. Well, aside from that, there's been a lot going on around us, and the armor you see on me right now is about the fifth or sixth set that I've had. Problem being, I keep dying. And so part of this time, I have been grinding away, getting my levels back, and also trying to get more diamonds so that I can replace all my stuff. So what I'm going to do is, let me give you an example for here, for instance. If you look here, yeah, that's the seventh set of wings I've had. First one died fairly quickly in the void going out with BD. And then the second and third pair got blown up. Well, one got blown up in a pyramid. I goofed. And then after that, the next one, I actually died, and by the time I got back to it, it was actually it got despawned, so I didn't get it picked up. So that stunk. Lost a pair of wings, too. Let's see. That was a phantom kill, knocked me off a pedestal, so my stuff despawned because I had stepped away from the computer. And then, the most recent one, as I was going up to repair stuff at the new location which I'm about to show you and it got picked up and disappeared with the bodies so allow me to take you on a quick journey and I will show you what I was also doing in this time to help with this problem of spending days and days and days at the grinder trying to get them 
Now, admittedly, Bixi and uh, JT have got a quad spider grinder. So that helped a lot, but it still takes a lot of time. So let me go over and I'll show you what I finally decided had to be done because I've been waiting to do it and we finally got it done. So bear with me. We'll go check it out. Not to worry. Y'all haven't gone sight blind. But I think you'll recognize what this is. It's quick access up onto the roof of the nether. Because, yes, we have what I like to call the Golden Donut. I finally got this built. Low to help from BD and Azathoth and Bloop kicked in. Got contributions of stone and stone blocks and glass from everybody so that we could put this thing together. Now I'm sure most of you will be able to recognize this is the classic Il Mango, what he calls the simple zombie pigment farm. Not too much simple about it, I'm afraid. It took a lot of work. Colonel dumped off several stacks of stone. Uh, BD was early in digging his hole, the big old hole, so he didn't have as much materials. He also, uh, Colonel also dropped off some blocks of iron. Um, got glass from folks, so this was all part of it. But it's what you would think. Got four different spawning layers. So all we have to do is aggro one of them, and then the whole shooting match comes apart. So what they've done is I've got some maintenance items here, just in case, because we've already had one pigman, uh, alert pigman. It's off in those little three positions on each of the diagonals on the outside ring. They can't reach us in their name tag, so they never do spawn. That way, when you aggravate the rest of them, you wind up getting uh, all of them coming after you. So you know how this game goes. I just like doing it. It's so much fun. Ticking off the Pikmin. Yep. Of course, you got to really actually hit them. Here they come. Run away. And get on my spot before they get here. Thank goodness. Just for the moment, let's go ahead and turn down. Turn them guys down for a minute. But when I was up here, one of my most recent deaths, I lost my wings. I was back up here trying to get levels and enchanting things. I'd brought up my books. I have some different enchanted books I've got saved. Had them on the iron, and it broke. Well, the sword I was working on dropped onto the carpet, so I went to go jump and get it. And sure enough, the pigman grabbed it to replace his gold sword, and then promptly died and sucked it down there to the burner. But while doing that, he hit me, and there weren't these glass blocks in this position. that They were still lower down. He hit me, knocked me over to the second one. Second guy hit me, killed me. And they basically picked up all my other stuff and took it with them. I think I recovered like a chest plate and a pair of boots. And that was it. All the tools gone, all the other armor. And of course, most horribly, the other set of Elytra. Yeah, I kind of run through these things. But you know how this is going to be functioning. And you also know that what we get out of it is a lot a lot of gold stuff let's get down there and take a look at this and as soon as we once we get it going get out of here they'll stop goofing around so we do not have our wings on so let's make sure the wings are on and I picked up an extra gold sword yep those iron golems up there just helps so much. Plus the fact that to get those iron anvils up there, oh my goodness, 
we robbed everywhere trying to get the anvil, uh, trying to get enough iron together to get those anvils put together. Man, it was crazy. I got the, had the iron farm running, but there really wasn't much stock. We wiped out the stock pretty much at the uh, iron shop, so we didn't have anything there. Azathoth gave me his personal anvil. BD brought over his personal anvil. I mean, we, we were robbing everywhere just to get enough to get that thing going. So, we finally got that taken care of. But the benefits, oh my goodness, it's so good. Don't know what to do without this thing. But the other side benefit is, we are getting a ton, and I literally mean a ton, maybe a metric ton, who knows, of gold. 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 I like gold. And also we got like a wicked amounts of zombie flesh. I keep pulling out a couple of boxes at a time and taking them down and trading them. We've got a couple of uh, clerics in our little trading hall. So I keep ch changing for them to get emeralds to do other things. And then what we've been doing with a lot of that is allow me to show you. I've been making these. Garrets. And yes, I'm trademarking that. Garrets. So we've been doing that. And allow me to go show you what I'm doing with all those garrets. I think you'll appreciate it. Well, here we are back in the spawn shopping district. And we have this little gem. Garrets and more. A TP Enterprises. We got Gary, the Garret Getter. And, here we go, Garrett's. I said it before, I'll say it again. Trademark. But we're also selling golden apples. Not only for your good health, but we have got a new data pack. JT was able to take the uh, achievement for converting zombie villagers into regulars, uh, in, back into villagers, and he's reinstalled it as a data pack so that now at the moment I haven't done any of them yet so we've got to go ahead and uh, uh, sell the golden apples to give to the zombie villagers in order to convert them back into villagers and it's going to be a season-long contest the data pack is in and running quite well I'm not just going to wait on him until I can get a hold of him there you go Goodbye. So we get that done. Right next door, we'll go up there in just a second. But right next door is going to be the Colonel's Lighting Shop. And he's got diamond for 64. Nice. That's not bad. We don't even have to go out and get him. Got him some redstone lamps for sale. Sweet. He and I are going to work a deal for the redstone. Well, hello, you. Did you just come by to say hello? Isn't that nice? Goodbye. And you too. All right, well, now y'all are just getting ridiculous. So, as opposed to have to play with you anymore, let's just run over back here to the good old Piglet Inn. We'll fix this right up. Okay, never mind. Now that it's daylight, they should burn. Yeah, like you, fool. Oh, both of you, fool. No, don't be coming over here like you're going to get me. Now, this is JT and Bax. I've opened up a secondary shop besides the uh, garden center. And obviously, this is so cute. Obviously, they are selling slime. He set himself up a slime farm just underneath their starter home. Just, well, you can't quite see through the hills here. So they're selling those. And I've got the garrets. So I've got that going. Got the iron shop going. And the next, there's other things going on here. I'll explain about this in just a second. I was over, uh, you know, uh, just, I don't know, AFKing, really, at the iron farm. And by the way, this is the spawn area. This is the actual spawn chunk. So this is our nice little dome for the spawn area. Let's see, this was 
Bexy that put this together, I believe. Might have been Bex. I think it was Bexy. But Bex came up with the idea of the carrot for the shop, which I really like. So she came over and showed me what she was saying. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. But I was over there AFK at the uh, iron farm. So, and then all of a sudden I got a visit from uh, Vloop. And he had something interesting to say. So I thought, mm, well, let's listen. Can we? Hey, Vloop, what's going on? Hey, TP, what's up? Uh, well, trying to keep the iron flowing. Nice, nice. It's it's really nice. It looks really beautiful. It's like it's it's an elephant, yeah. Uh, well, it's a lopsided elephant. She's only got one ear, but it's the good ear with the gold in it. <laughs> it does look nice. It does look nice. But TP, I come here. I'm gonna be uh, as fast as possible with this, and I came here because I have a proposal to you. Okay. What's going on? Uh, Okay, man, I, you know, you know, I, I opened the redstone shop and it's, man, it's been really hard for me to keep up with the demand. Oops. It's, yeah. it's been really hard for me with the demand from everyone, like, uh, to, to keep the redstone rolling and mm -hmm. I need a business partner. Okay. And since you since you have the, the the iron farm and the gold, you, you have the command on the on the gold for the the gold farm. I uh, believe that you would be a nice person to to take this business with me. Yeah, so we can split we can split the stuff 50-50. Yeah, the 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 income. Is right. it income we say? Uh, we can do that. Yeah, I can get more redstone yeah. while I'm mining and doing those things. And then you can, uh, yeah, yeah. They don't do anything. Do the They're just for looks. Yeah, I can do the crafting. <laughs> I also have some redstone. I also go mining and can get some nicer redstone and also wood. I can buy wood from, from, from JT and bags. Yeah. That's true. But yeah, because we I, need yeah, plenty what, of redstone what, what torches I, for just about everything. All the repeaters, yeah, all yeah. the comparators. But we'll mm -hmm. have to get into the Nether and get more quartz so we can make the observers yeah. and the. Yeah, and it it seems that you you you're much better than than me on this on going to the Nether and getting getting quartz because I I really I'm really bad at this. Well, if you look at the scoreboard, I my numbers wow they changed it. They're not showing deaths, but I was gonna say <laughs> <laughs> the death counter wouldn't say so, but mostly that was from other outside sources doing mm -hmm. stupid things. Yeah. But yeah, we can work on that. Sure. Yeah. I'll go get uh, cool. a bunch of the redstone I've got, and I'll get back with you in a little bit later, and we can just craft up a bunch of things that we need for the moment, and then just see what we need to do next after that. Yeah, okay. I'm already very excited. Thank here, you, here. buddy. Yeah, what we'll do here. There. Well, we'll seal, seal the deal with a couple oh. of golden carrots. Garrets. Oh, thank Trademark, you. Trademark, by the way. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, All right. So, yeah, let me get I'm back get in here and... Watch these fools sure. make us rich. Sure, I'm gonna get some some things starting, and then I'll, I'll yeah, I'll tell you when I have everything already okay. uh, done. I can't fly. All right, here you see, you see in a little bit. Well, that was kind of a surprise. Just decided it was an awful lot more work than he had realized trying to keep a redstone shop stocked. So I thought, yeah, man, I can work with you. We can we, we can set that up. Go ahead and you know pool our redstone and do some of the crafting. I can get some of the quartz from the nether that we need for the different items like the uh, observers. Or we could do uh, daylight detectors, those kinds of things. <clears throat> so I thought, all right, we can do that. So that was I figured that was going to be kind of the end of it for right there. But uh, Vloop came back to me a little bit later and had something else to say. Oh, hello, TP. Hey, Bloop. What's up? How are you? How's fishing? Yeah, not so good so far. All I got is some cod. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Slim pickings well, in the lake lately. Tree of Life is looking fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. We either need to get better equipment or we need to get a better fisherman. I, I don't know which one. 
Okay, ATP, there is something I would like to talk to you, buddy. Um, oh, all right, sure. Are you available? What? Um, man, I know we talked about the Redstone shop and everything, and uh -huh. T TP, I, I'm really, really sorry, but I, I can't do this. I, I just can't. I... I, I have like zero knowledge about redstone and crafting redstone is really a nightmare for me. It's it's and it's not something I want to do. So oh, well. I, I yeah, I decided to come with you. Do, do you want to take the, the redstone shop for yourself and like do it? Yeah, I mean I can do that, yeah. I mean I've been saving most of my redstone as I've been mining, so I'll have I can put in some stock. And yeah, you're right; it's a pain in the backside to, trying to keep a redstone stop shop stocked mm -hmm. with having to run and get the quartz from one part, and then making tons of torches to make all the repeaters and comparators and the yeah, pistons. Yeah, and, yeah it, it gets complicated. Let alone the dispensers, all the stupid bows you have to make just so you can make the dispensers out of them. It's yeah, a lot of work. I'm, I'm I'm really sorry, man. Yeah, oh, and a... and also like I think I think I'm going to follow another path, and I'm oh, going yeah. to do something that is more, the like it's it's more what I like to do it has it's something that has more to do with me, you know. Okay. And is... yeah, I I think I'm gonna open a dance club, a night club. Oh. <laughs> well, that could be fun. Yeah. Well, some place we can. There's gonna be. We can there's chill out until the morning light in, in the dance club. Nice. Yeah, there's going to be some surprises in there. And yeah, it's going to look really, really cool. Well, okay. that would be cool. Well, okay. Um, yeah, it's a lot of work in a redstone shop for one. So maybe I'll, I'll ask around, see if I can't get some help. See if somebody else wants to yeah. dip, dip in. Then we can both keep checking the stock and, you know, replenishing it as necessary. Yeah, there must be someone who is interested in taking this with you, and I, I'm probably really so. Sorry about it, but I, 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 really, I really can't. I'm sorry. Oh man, don't feel bad. No, if your heart's not in it, don't do it. Mm -hmm. And I know it's, it, it is. It's, it's a grindy ton of work to do the redstone. So I don't blame you. Okay. Then we friends. Absolutely. I'll even give you a fish yeah. smack. There you go. Yeah. High five. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna get some stuff to make to get the disco club prepared. All disco right, club. all right, I'll catch up with you in. later. I'm gonna see if I can get me a couple yeah. of enchanted books or something out of this lake. Hopefully. Nice, nice. Bye, bye. Hi, bye. <laughs> well, since Floops decided not to continue with the redstone shop, um, he's gonna go ahead and convert the whole entire building down to uh, make it a club and potions shop. So I had a chat with Enigma Craft, our newest member. He decided to throw in with me, and then we'll bring up the redstone shop here. So we're going to start building a new building. And he's he's basically laid down the design, because I didn't want to do the same box as that. So we'll go from there. The colonel's getting his one. There he is. Hello. And the colonel's just about getting ready here for his future lighting shop. He's got the design all laid out, but... He doesn't have the uh, doesn't have the merchandise just yet, so he's still waiting. We got to get that finished for him to get whoop, rocket. Get him to wait out. Get the supplies that he's going to need, so he'll be ready to go. And so that is how we have come to wind up having a redstone shop. But Enigma Craft is going to assist me with keeping this stocked. Well, you've got pretty good pricing, I think. They're not that expensive. But yeah, it's kind of a pain for all the different items we need to get. So, that's not the only change that's gone on around here. There's still other things going on. I don't believe I showed you. We had the rocket shop. It was open. But I don't think I stopped in. But BD and I, since we're at different times, we're working together to try to keep this shop open. So, and fully stocked. So then he's splitting the profits with me on that. And I usually do that. But this is... BD's got all these player heads up here. This is the central post office. 
lights on, you got stuff in your mailbox. No light, no mail. Simple. And even in the last day or two with Enigma Craft, we've gotten diamonds, so those are the Redstone Shop profits, and then I've restocked to keep it up to date. So we've been doing that. That's going on. Let's not spoil that. But over here, you've probably seen it. If you haven't, you should go look at Bexy's video. She has constructed a massive spider because this was our original spider spawner. The one that killed me, good lord, 30 times, 25 times, something like that. She's got this interesting, wonderful winding staircase system <clears throat> going all the way down to the bottom. And then she's got this last little bit that used to be the staircase that ran all the way straight up and down to come down here. Still got the enchanting table. There's been a little more decoration on it. Got the swords and things set up. A little tiny bit of potion brewing. But it's good stuff. This is a wonderful landscaping. Kind of stuff I can't do. So just not that imaginative. But she's worked on this quite a bit. She's only got that one little tiny bit to try to decipher how she wants to get that finished. But then above this, the regular ground was just a hill. So BD was standing over here and was saying, you know, we need to do a little landscaping around here. So a ba bam Bex came over here and kicked the living snot out of the decorating situation. Got them all over the place. Just busy, busy, busy all over. Got her little shorty trees so that she do, whoop, shorty trees so that she doesn't take up all the view. We got Bex's Bexy's massive little tree house. We got the farmers going. We've also incorporated potatoes in this front little corner and we've got all kinds of carrots across the back and of course the sugarcane farm still banging away to beat the band. But one other thing is not an addition but a subtraction. You might remember towards the end of the last video I was over here. That's our little trading hall. It used to be a big ugly little mob farm. Super simple mob farm. Well, it was so bad we just decided to get rid of it. JT and Bex have found themselves <clears throat> a skeleton spawner near where they've got their new tree business, the Rainforest Company. So they've got bone meal. We've got all the zombie flesh coming out of the pigment farm. Um, so we've got bones, arrows, bows. We've got the string, two different spider spawners, and the zombie flesh. So we really just didn't need it. And it was pretty eyesore. So we just took it down. And also, after we got done, you have probably already seen it over my shoulder, but uh, after we got done, with a little bit of a semi fiasco trying to collect up enough iron to get things going, we decided it was time that we needed to up the production. So what we did, BD came over and we counted up, got the blocks going. We put a second layer on the iron farm. Then he had the idea of, man, what if we should light that thing up? So I got in there and I set up a whole bunch of redstone lamps with spider you know, string strung between them on tripwire hooks. So if and when Gollum falls from the top, the other people get to see a little cascade of life as he drops down. You didn't see it quite so well when Vluke came over, but they were over here. We were just up, all of us sitting around cutting up. So we decided to turn this thing into an elephant. And he's a cool elephant because he's got a gold earring. And he's got a tail. Ain't it cute? I thought it was cute. Also, the rook is looking magnificent on the hill. Very dominant. Then also, we have, across the water from me, is going to be the, uh, is the base for a yellow hybrid. She's just out of render distance. So I'll let her show off her base. 
I think that's most of the major changes that have been going on around here. But man, it's a lot to catch up on. And I appreciate your patience while we've been doing it. But I had to say, that's a part of the reason why I haven't had anything posted before now. I was so busy scrimping and scrounging and grinding away trying to get point get get the XP back up so I could keep remaking stuff. And by then, hopefully, you'd be kind of caught up with what's going on around here lately. Well, I sure do appreciate you coming in coming by and watching this little video if you stuck with me to the end man thank you for that you know if you liked it go ahead and hit that like button if you think about it and feel like I've earned it go ahead and hit subscribe and then hit that little bell so you can always get notified when I get my next videos up hopefully this is not going to be as big a gap from then to now I don't think so because now I don't have to worry so much about spending all my time working on XP I can get it all I want as quick as I need well thank you all for tuning in and hopefully we'll see you again next time Bye now.